Hello there, Doctor here again, and welcome back to Planetside 2. I'm doing a bit of a look at the ultra graphic settings available in Planetside 2 today. Now, you might not actually realise that these are available, I wouldn't blame you, because I didn't notice either for quite a while, but they aren't actually viewable in the in-game menus. You have to go into the ini file in the main Planetside 2 directory to really get access to these. So, yeah, it's not really obvious that they actually have these in game and it's a shame because they do really make the game just that little bit better and makes it sort of just a bit more atmospheric I, I don't know it's, it's very difficult to explain but there are definitely some improvements and it might be hard to see over a YouTube video though because uh, it's just a terrible quality really YouTube likes to process these videos and make it pretty terrible even in 1080p so at a distance it might not be obvious in these but I'm gonna go and show you some comparison shots in a second you'll notice that my frame rate is in the bottom left hand corner I didn't really want to play with this all the time I didn't want to try it out before because I knew that my FPS would be a bit too low to really justify playing with it all the time uh, this was with fraps on so it's a bit lower than it would normally be playing with it so it is possible to play with it and I probably played on ultra for a couple of hours just fine but it, you can't really play properly with it like this because uh it does drop a bit too low sometimes especially in certain areas uh like a tech plant i went into i was getting about 10 to 15 fps and that was limited by my gpu so there was obviously a few issues there so first up a comparison between two textures most of these comparisons are between the two textures because that was one of the big gripes that people have that the textures are quite low quality on high this one is a really obvious one to spot if you look at the actual console screens. Now on high, it's always been quite obvious because it's all in your face, the fact that the screen is really blurry and obviously it's not there to be red or anything like that. But if you look up close, you can actually make out some of the writing on Ultra where as on high, it's mostly just a big blur. So some example of the object textures you can see just across the board really, the textures have been just bumped up a little bit more. Um, you can notice the post and definitely the ground textures in the uh, bottom centre of the screen. You can really tell that there's a big difference there. So I tried taking a bit of a look at the foliage as well, but I couldn't really see a big difference in the amount or the, you know, the density of the foliage or an increase in the textures on them either. But you can again see increase in the textures on the actual ground textures on, on the rocks. So it's, it just makes it all look a little bit nicer. Now, I couldn't really tell because of the time of day, but in this shot, it's really weird how the shadows don't actually appear on the trees on high settings. Now, th these were taken literally about a minute apart. I logged out and got in straight away as soon as possible. But on Ultra, there's quite obviously a shadow, and the tree in the background on high does have a shadow, but the other two don't seem to have a quite as an obvious shadow as them, but I don't know what happened there, but uh, I don't know whether there's some kind of optimization to prevent too many shadows showing up on the screen, but there wasn't really many of them, so it might be a bug, or it might just be some weird quirk, I don't know. So I couldn't really show you everything that's improved, but hopefully that shows you the sort of level of increase in the quality. It's a bit of a bump up, and it certainly adds to the atmosphere of the game. It really, it does feel so much better actually playing when you're in the game. Um, whether it's worth the FPS hit, I, well, it's up to you, but I don't really feel comfortable playing with it all the time like that. Hopefully in the future, if they optimise it a little bit more, well, as they are doing, then it might be possible to play on that, but uh, for now it's just nice to look at for a while and uh, just soak in some of the atmosphere and really hopefully it puts some people's uh, worries to rest about the fact that this game doesn't have very good textures and things like that. Uh, they're not the best textures on Ultra either, but I think you have to realise that it's just a, a massive technical feat, the fact that they've pulled off putting so many players on a single massive continent like they have. So I'm impressed and uh, I have heard that the engine is capable of a lot more. So hopefully in the future when they feel like there's a lot more computers that can actually handle it, they might bump up some of the uh, textures and things like that. But for now, I'm pretty happy. And in the next few days, we shall be getting some new updates, I imagine. There's a lot of stuff coming for metagame improvements, uh, bonuses for bases, for owning an entire continent, things like that. So it's going to be pretty exciting to see. So I will be coming back with lots of videos on all that stuff. 
So I will see you guys again very soon.